Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back to a special edition episode of Anime on Draft. Uh, this time, it's just going to be me and uh, our lovable co-host, uh, Rolando. So why don't you give a shout out, Rolando? <clears throat> Hi. Very good. Very good. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're just doing this short one-off episode. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of weird kind of kooky beers that we picked up on a Friday night. Um, as well as one of my new and probably, is it safe to say, probably favorite show this uh, this anime season, uh, Blend S. So uh, let's look forward to that. But uh, let's talk about these beers real quick. And I don't even know if you can call them beers. It's it's We picked them up and they're called like high alcohol kombucha. Yeah, so that, just kombucha that right, with Rwanda? alcohol that hasn't been Com- removed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's made by a brewery called Boochcraft, uh, if you can believe that. And uh, I think we got a couple of different flavors here. Mine is apple, lime, and jasmine. And uh, what, what's yours, <laughs> Rolando? Uh, grapefruit, hibiscus, and heather. And we were we were trying for like a long time to figure out what heather is. Apparently, it's like a flower. It kind of looks like lavender. No, I don't but, believe you. Uh, yeah. It's it's probably some girl named Heather, and they just uh, yeah they take they her took the bacteria from her vag like that beer. <laughs> it's called Boochcraft because it's kombucha, but they really like want it to sound like Coochcraft. <laughs> and uh, mine was recommended to me by a young a young lady named Ashley, so maybe they used her uh, bacteria in here too. I don't know. This is getting dark. Um, what does yours taste like? <laughs> oh, no. Um. Well. Mine looks, I poured it out into a glass and it looks like it has grapefruit in it. it smells yeah. like kombucha. Yeah, as does mine. And it tastes like it tastes kombucha like a, with alcohol in it. Yeah, yeah. That's what mine tastes like too. Mine tastes like a, uh, like, did we do the, the apple lambic on here? Yes. Mine tastes exactly like apple lambic. <laughs> that's that's pretty much maybe a little bit less carbonation but it tastes like apple kombucha or apple lambic they said there's supposed to be like ginger in mine to make it spicy but i don't taste that at all i just taste apple and lime but it's good seven percent alcohol <laughs> yeah that's what i'm uh interested in finding out about <laughs> That's uh, that's partially why I picked it. I'm like, you know, I don't want to drink a lot on uh, Friday night, but, you know, 7% alcohol in a big bottle, you know, I'm game. <laughs> yeah, and it's made so, with Heather's um, uh, bacteria, so. Well, I guess, I guess that's that's what we're that's what we're going with uh, for this. Yeah, that's that is. That's what that's that that's what we're going with. Anyway, um, so let's get into, you know, this hype ass anime and, uh, you know, I don't think there is a better way to describe this anime other than smile, sweet, sister, sadistic, surprise, and service. Uh, what what do those mean, uh, words uh, mean to you? No, no Snoop Dogg. Yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not going Snoop Dogg for this one. <laughs> but, uh, Rolanda, you were kind of like poking me. You're like, hey, you should watch this show. You would really identify with it. Um <laughs> What what are uh, what are your initial reactions for it? I think we've gone through um, about six episodes. I think we'll talk about the seventh on uh, this week's uh, episode. But uh, what do you, what do you think about this episode so, or the the series so far? Um, I really like it. I kind of get um, it's like a similar format to working, but not you know annoying. So uh, yeah. It's got like more of a, it's got more of the humor of like servant X service than it does, um, working where it's not just like the same joke about someone being punched over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do like how it's more of an actual work slice of life than it is comedy than it is like just dumb shit. You actually like kind of took the words out of my mouth i think i would describe uh this show as working uh with a cross between service x service and with the cuteness of uh gochusa 
uh, Rabbit Cafe. I think I think those all three things you like throw them in, throw them in there, mix them up, and you kind of have uh, this show. But I like this show better than all three of those shows. I mean, it's it's the it's the complete package. Would would you agree that you you'd like those better? You like this show better than them, or or what? Uh, I still have to see the whole thing before I give my judgment, but it's definitely better than working. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's not hard to do. Working the first season was great, and then they just kept dragging out the same jokes, like you said, over and over. Oh, she hates men, and she punches them. Oh, Yamada hates her family and won't go back to her family. You know, oh, the main character likes short girls. It's like, it's the same thing over and over again, where I think with this, you have, like, your specific tropes that I kind of named out, you know, a little bit here, um... You have the Sundere girl, you have the uh, sadistic girl, you have the little sister, the older sister. I think we're getting an idol um, somewhere down the line. I don't think she's been introduced yet. Yeah, the um, one that looks like, um, what's her face from, uh, uh, what's that one dr- drama anime that was really popular a while back with like the dead girl? She She looks like that girl. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like that flower we saw that day. I don't know. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, and not only do you, do you have them in like these tropes, which is what the show is making fun of, but like they don't stay in that character the entire time, uh, which is nice. So you, you get the, the same jokes, you know, kind of over and over again, but you go back and then you see them like in their normal lives because they are somewhat acting, um, within this cafe, um, But yeah, I mean, overall, just just a really great show. Um, I'm sad at myself for not starting it, you know, at the very beginning of this season, because like I said, it's very quickly becoming one of my favorite shows like in a long time uh, for this particular genre. Anyway, Um, I like all the characters uh, so far. Um, I think everybody knows if you're watching it already and you've listened to the podcast that I am Dino. I am the the manager. I just get stomped on and yelled at and and everything turns out all right yeah, he's sometimes. A um and, and I wasn't gonna go that far, but but yes. Um so I, I identify I identify with that and uh I know if you've been listening for a long time, I think you probably can uh can see that. But Overall, just just a good a good show. It's tight. What do you what do you think of the characters before we kind of wrap up this little special here, uh, Rolando? Um, Micah is awesome because she's unintentionally sadistic, and it's yeah. fucking hilarious. But also, like, she gives you that face, and then you're kind of like, you know what? Like, yeah, you can probably like stand on me. Um, <laughs> and then um but the best girl really though is Kaho. Mm-hmm. Um because she's like just the best girl. She's basically she's- Rize from Gochi Usa, except blonde and is really into video games rather than guns. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll take video games over guns. I I love Rise from Gochi Usa, but yeah, Kaho, you know, okay hand emoji, like plays games and isn't ashamed of it, you know, is in the cafe working and trying to like be all sundry and playing games with the dudes. She's she's a great character. I will disagree. Um, I don't think she's best girl. And you're going to actually be shocked who you think I, who I think is best girl. And it's actually uh, Mafuyu. I love her her little sister personality and i love her normal personality and anytime they pan to her and she's like doing something it's always just like fucking hilarious because she's like uh it's all it's all the things like i'm gonna fucking call the cops and you because you're fucking abusing these high school girls or like she's like getting drunk or like sleeping on the beach i don't know i i really like her personality um she's definitely a trope in that she's a lolly and she's like in her 20s um but I don't know so, something about her. I just like, and I don't even know what it is exactly. But I just I I identify with her, and I I like her a lot. So you identify with being a twenty year old little girl. Yes. Okay. That's fine. Yes. I I get it. And a little si- and, and a little sister. Oh, okay. Apparently. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I think so. It's on episode seven. Um, I I highly, re- highly, highly, highly recommend this. Uh, we'll probably be talking about it a little bit uh, during our regular show. Um, but yeah, um, I was a fool not to start at the beginning, but get out there, watch Blend S, um, go to YouTube, listen to the opening on repeat, you know, 75 times. Uh, I'm not saying that I've done that, but I, but I have done that. And yes, enjoy the memes because there's so many fucking good memes. um, The EA one is good too. The EA one is great. Um, you know, there's Snoop Dogg. There's, you know, there's anything. Anything is possible, I think, uh, in terms of memes for this show. So enjoy it. Um, I know I am. And then, uh, uh, but with that, one yeah. one last thing is the yeah. name of the show Blend S is actually kind of like a play on words in Japanese. So like the way they would say blend is burendo S. So do S re- would mean you're very sadistic in Japanese so it's kind of like a play on words how they how they made it and blend obviously because they these, work in a cafe these, these Japanese people they're they're too smart they're <laughs> too smart for this world <laughs> but anyway um any any other last thoughts Rolando or should uh, should we wrap this up uh no I think we covered it all yeah so watch the show get sadistic um be smiling and be sweet and all those those other words um yeah, I look forward to uh, this week's episode. I think we're on uh, episode 30 um, yes, that we're going to be recording. Yeah, so we'll be recording episode 30. Look out for that. Um, you know, check out all those regular links, YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, Twitter, you know, at Anime on Draft, all those things. So check us out. Um, with that, I am uh, signing out. This has been Drew joined by uh, Rolando, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>